Hi, Roy. Welcome back from Denmark. Thanks, Jim. Glad to be back. So I, I know you were just at the DTW Ignite conference in uh, Copenhagen, which is held in partnership, I think, with uh, TM Forum. Is that right? Yeah, it actually is run by the TM Forum itself. Yeah, it, it was a pretty crowded conference, just as it was last year, and a lot of excitement around all the catalysts, which is where all the carriers come together with the vendors to demonstrate the proof of concepts and new technologies and new capabilities, which was pretty exciting. So what would you say would be your top three takeaways from this event? I think number one, I guess across all the events I'm going through, the word agentic shows up just about every week. There's no escape. Um, the word agentic was banned about in a lot of places at DTW as well. Likewise, and I think in many situations, the word agentic was redefined by the vendor to mean what it meant as opposed to what I view as agentic. But regardless, we did see sort of agent-based uh, AI agents doing semi-autonomous or mostly autonomous functions out there on networks. Most of it was just proof of concept and demonstrations, you know, less so production for sure, but definitely looking very interesting. So there was one. The second one is TM Forum has been driving this, you know, level one to five, you know, autonomous networks. And that continues. Uh, a lot of carriers are still seek the goal of having a, a level five fully autonomous network. And I would say there's been lo a lot more progress in the last year that I've seen. Um, there's a lot of carriers, you know, sort of rounding out level three and, you know, going after level four. Uh, there's a lot of work between level four and level five and even level three and level four. Even with Gen AI capabilities, even with reasoning capabilities, there's still a lot of work to be done. So I envision that that the last part of the journey, four to five, is going to take a little bit more uh, longer. Um, and then the other element, I think a lot of carriers, you know, sort of third take takeaway is carriers are not realizing that there is no sort of, even with Gen AI, even with all the AI advancements that we have, there is hard work to be done. And I've said this before, which is it's important to get the data, the data, the data pipeline all correct and to make sure that you have cloudification and an API base architecture, which the TM Forum has been driving for a while now with, you know, ODA Canvas and some of the other composable architectures to make it more agile. And I think there's no escape. You have to lay the foundation to take advantage of all that AI capability in, in the quest towards autonomous, you know, level five networks, right, with agentic help. So there is hard work, but I think the carriers are realizing and it's looking a lot more promising than last year. Good stuff. Or may, maybe not just good stuff, important stuff, because you know, someday maybe we're going to look at uh, 2025, 2026 is the year that networks were really fundamentally changing and people will look back at, ah, do you remember the days when they were managed by humans? So the, this theme of AI and networking uh, is going to be our, our own theme for our upcoming showcase on nextgeninfra.io. I will. I, I definitely for sure. And I think, you know, it's definitely a timely topic and, you know, we launched it last year and that was very well received. And I think this year we're going to make a lot more progress in terms of the coverage areas. And there's a lot of deeper conversations that are happening around that. And so hopefully we'll bring that and highlight those in the report that's coming up in, in Q. Great. Well, um, I'd also just like to take this opportunity to invite anybody who's watching this. If your company is actively involved in developing AI for networking, please reach out to us. This is the, the topics that, that we're interested in and that we are chasing. Yep, for sure.